After a lot of practice, pilots were back in the air today for the first day of the Smoky Mountain Air Show. Six on your sides, Kristen Gallant shows us a wrap up of day one. How's the rain treating you guys? I'm ready for it to go away. <laughs> rain or shine, the planes did fly, and thousands of people came out to the Smoky Mountain Air Show Saturday. So we come out here, despite the rain, here we are. Yep. Rain jackets and ponchos in hand, people lined up to see some of the incredible aircrafts on display. This is my first time out here. I just want to see the fighter jets, blue angels, and black hawks. The rain did let up and the different aerial acts went to the skies to perform. It's a sight that never gets old for Reb Revel. I just love air shows. I was a former Air Force pilot and uh, I've been to 50 air shows, 100 air shows in my lifetime. And even when it's wet, cold, hot, I go to air shows. He knows just how hard these pilots work and what it's like to be in the cockpit of one of these aircrafts. Way back in 1981, and uh, I flew F-15s in the United States Air Force for eight years. And uh, I was the date myself. I was stationed in West Germany back when there was an east of West Germany. Rebel can tell you a few things about these aircrafts, but he also likes learning from other people's experiences. Uh, talking to the pilots, that's what I enjoy most. And then also the World War II airplanes. I like to watch the warbirds. From the Warbirds to the Blue Angels, it's a show many were able to enjoy rain or shine. At McGee Tyson, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Kristen, thank you. The Smoky Mountain Air Show continues tomorrow. Parking opens at 7 a.m. It is expensive and gates to the show open at 8. Due to the weather, parking passes were extended to use on both days. So if you bought a pass for today's show, you can use it for tomorrow's events.